Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be unboxing a Thor chest protector and an EVS knee brace bag. I ordered the knee brace bag off of Amazon. It came sooner than I expected. It came yesterday with Emma's bike, so I got it here today. There's not really a side-by-side -side comparison that needs to go with it, so I'm just gonna open it up, see what's inside, and then I'm gonna take my knee braces, stick them in there, and put them back in my bag. And then I will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between my Thor chest protector that I just ordered and an EVS chest protector that I used to run. So without a further ado, I'm gonna go grab those boxes and we're gonna check this out. All right. So hilariously, the chest protector is in this tiny box here and the knee brace bag is in this big box here, even though the knee brace bag is like this big and the chest protector is bigger than this box. So I'll just put this one off to the side for now. And we're gonna get into this knee brace bag. Open up my knife, cut that open, open that up. And once again, this is from Amazon. Get rid of all this. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And here's the knee brace bag itself. Don't think there's anything else. Get rid of this. All right, it's actually a little bit bigger than I thought, which is pretty cool. But this, there's nothing special. It's just a storage container for my knee braces. Rip this open. No stickers, unfortunately. And there it is. Opening it up, it does look like there's a strap here to kind of maybe separate the bottom brace from the top brace, however you organize it. And the depth of these are about I wanna say that's about four inches on this side and about three inches on this side. It doesn't look like there's any extra pockets. It's just the bag itself. So here are my knee braces. If you remember from my previous episode, I'm gonna be taking this one and putting it on the inside, kind of like, well, I'll take this one and put it on the top just like this. I'm gonna take these little straps, secure it down, just like that. And then I'll take the next one and I'll flip it around the other way. And this should just zip up and keep them nice and organized. And just like that, my knee braces are packed. They're in their own little compartment and they're gonna stay nice and safe inside this bag. It seems like it's made out of some really good quality. You got the EVS logo printed right here, which looks really cool. Another one right here. And it's got like a high visibility yellow all the way around where the zipper is. Other than that, it's just a basic bag with a little handle right here. And I do like the zippers because they got these big little pulls that you can fit your finger through really good and zip it nice and, nice and quickly. All right, get this out of the way. I'll put this away later. Onto the chest protector. The box looks like it was dropped out of the truck and it rolled down the street for like half a mile and then they gave it to me. But hopefully it being a chest protector, it's all right. Cut this open, cut that open and cut this open. Now, if I do remember correctly, I did order the clear number plate panel that goes on the back of your chest protector, so that way it'll protect the number that you have printed onto your chest protector. So that should have came in here too. Here's the chest protector itself. And here's that quick panel. Throw this out. All right. I'm gonna put the panel off to the side for now. I'll show you guys how to put that on later. Open this up real quick. Couple goodies on the inside here. This is the Thor Sentinel chest protector. Looks super cool. Looks like it's made out of some pretty good materials. As you can see here, there's a lot of holes to increase ventilation. I love that. A couple cutouts here and here. And it looks like the majority of this chest protector is actually riveted to itself. You can see all these rivets and rivet caps. So it's not stitched, so that'll prevent it from fraying and falling apart like normal chest protectors do. I got it in white, so that way it'll kind of blend in a little bit better with the jersey that I'll be wearing, so you don't see this dark chest protector behind my gear. These snaps feel really good and they're really secure. You'll just push this down to let it out. So I'll put this off to the side for now, and we're just gonna go ahead and open up this clear plate.
it seems like it's made out of the cheapest material that you can possibly manufacture. It, I wouldn't expect it to be anything super crazy, but you can put a number on the inside here and then rivet it onto your chest protector just to add that, that little extra protective layer. Before I get too ahead of myself, the chest protector did come with extra snaps, so in case some of these do pop off, you can replace them. Opening up this, they come with two pieces. You got a nut and a bolt, basically. So this nut you'll stick on the inside of your chest protector and then you'll stick it through here and then you'll grab it with the bolt and screw it down. And just like that, the chest protector is put together. I'm gonna go grab my old chest protector just to do a side-by-side -side comparison real quick. I could already tell this is gonna be a massive upgrade from what I previously had. So this is my old chest protector. I think it's like an EBS Roost Guard or something like that. This one is not held together by many rivets at all. I don't think it's held down by any rivets. All of this is stitched together, which isn't bad. It's pretty flexible, which I like because if you fall, you don't want this to be hitting you and making you uncomfortable, but this material right here, it feels like some kind of foam and then they layered it with some kind of material. And as you can see, it's starting to fall off and it looks super ugly. Here, we got some vented holes, just like this one. Flipping it to the back, it has this back support, which is a lot skinnier than this one. This one covers your entire back to include your shoulder blades and all that. These though, can pop out. So when you clean them, it makes it a lot easier. And it looks like as I just did that, I ripped out every single one of these. So they're completely corroded, they're completely garbage, and there's no way I can put this piece back on, which kind of sucks, because I was gonna give this to somebody at a track, but I wouldn't want to give them garbage, so whatever. This is the same buckle as any other chest protector. I like this design just a little bit better than I do like these little clips, because I know once you get some dirt in there, these are gonna be a little bit harder to actuate, and they won't come out as smooth as they knew now. These, when you want to pop them off, you just click here, comes right off. This chest protector also has some adjustable straps for your shoulders right here. This one does not. This one's just a solid piece of plastic that goes right over your shoulder, which you cannot adjust how snug this fits on your shoulders. That kind of sucks about this one. This one does have that advantage. Both these bottom straps here and here are adjustable with this little carabiner type thing. These straps have no support on your shoulders, so if you get hit on the top right here, you're not you're gonna feel it with these, you're not gonna feel it with these. This chest protector also has a hard piece of plastic that goes around the side of your waist. This one just has these pads. More protection, not as much. For weight, this one is definitely a lot heavier than this one, but for what this one does, I definitely think it's something that really wouldn't bother me all that much. So I'm glad to be upgrading from this to this. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around again. I'm gonna try this on, see how it fits. And All right, so I'm gonna try this on real quick, see how it feels. So it does feel pretty good. It feels really snug to my body, like it forms to my chest itself and it goes right around the bottom of my ribs right here. So these pads are definitely gonna protect against my ribs from getting hurt or injured, which is really nice. The back stops right below my lower back, so my kidneys are exposed just in case if you do wear a kidney belt, this entire area is open for that. I'm sorry if that audio was pretty bad. I don't have one of those Bluetooth audios yet. I really wanna get one of those to increase the audio quality, but this chest protector does feel really, really nice compared to my last one. I like this a lot. And then when you're done riding, you just pop these buttons, the snaps come out, pop your chest protector off and you're done. I'm gonna go put these away real quick. So I am keeping my chest protector in the same compartment as I'm keeping my jerseys and pants. And with it sitting in there, I think I can fit like one or two sets in there additionally. So there's still a lot of room in that compartment, but that'd be kind of pushing it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my knee braces in there as well.
All right, everything fit in there really nice. I do have just a little bit more room in that one compartment as well as a little bit of extra room in the gear compartment. So I can stick some extra stuff in there. Tomorrow I will be opening up a neck brace and I'm gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison. It is an Atlas neck brace, so stick around. Those are super cool, super cheap, and very affordable for the average rider. Following that video, I will be opening up my helmet and all my unboxing videos will be completed for now. I'm definitely gonna try and get some bike parts for Emma's bike. I'm gonna have you guys join me for that. That's gonna be really awesome. I might do a little bit of a tutorial on how to do some things. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.